guys? I am back with another movie review from the couch. As you can see, I've added more blankets. I have more of a, a SpongeBobby one, the Pokemon one still behind me, the Spider-Man one is like slowly falling off. I'll fix that a little bit. But um, back on the couch, I've redone it a little bit with some uh, pillows and there's some shit on it. Not actual shit, but got like a horror movie pillow right here. We're not here to talk about horror. We're here to talk about something that's horror bolt. We're here to talk about Batman and the Mystery of Batwoman. So this is a 2003 film, and I'll read out the uh, plot for you as I usually do for you guys. The Penguin and Rupert Thorne are criminal cohorts with a scheme to sell illegal weapons, but there's a new superhero in Gotham City who has other plans for the evil entrepreneurs, Batwoman. With the high-tech gadgets and powerful punches, Batwoman pro proves to be a formidable crime fighter. The only problem is that the Dark Knight has no clue who she is, and when Batwoman crosses the criminal line, Batman must identify whether or not this new player is an ally. Join, join the world's greatest detective in this exciting new adventure that will keep you guessing until the mask is pulled off. This movie sucks. I gotta be honest with you. So, this entire movie, in my opinion, was... It, by the way, this is the last of the Batman animated series before that Batman and Harley Quinn movie. Uh, so it was kind of like a turd to go out on, and I've never seen Batman and Harley Quinn. Um, but this, as itself, is just... boring. And it's hard, hardly because, you know, someone asked me, it's like, maybe you're just not the right age. And it's like, everyone is the right age for Batman the Animated Series. It's got that dark grittiness to it. I used to watch it when I was a kid. I still watch it now. If I'm, you know, if I'm bored, I'll throw on a couple episodes in the background. Um, <clears throat> but this full-length movie, as compared to other animated films like Batman: The Mask of Phantasm or Batman: Sub Zero, Batman Beyond: The Return of the Joker, and uh, this, it's just bad. As a kid, I never actually saw this one. This is one of the few that, like, I believe when I was in middle school, I actually found out it existed, but I never watched it before. Um, itself, as a whole, I just, you know, I never saw it on TV. It was never on Cartoon Network. Um, I never saw it on the DVD or the video store. It was actually a really uncommon VHS. It was really hard to find on VHS when I used to be a big VHS collector. And, um, sorry, water. But... As a whole, like I'd say, like I would say, it's good. The voice acting is good. I like the voice acting. The story itself is supposed to be kind of like a mystery esque. Who is Batwoman? And like ten minutes. Sorry, not ten minutes, but like maybe like the first like half hour of this movie, you already know like what the deal is with Batwoman. I'm not going to spoil it for you. Um, <clears throat> actually, I will because it's a spoiler ish review. There's actually like three different women being Batwoman, and if you're a child, it's probably hard to figure that out, because you wouldn't differentiate that in your mind. But as it would go on here, it's just kind of a different thing, and it really just doesn't work. And for that standpoint, that's that's why it's bad. Um, but as a whole, you know, I saw this just recently, it's 2003 never saw it as a kid it was just it's bad it's boring it's really bad um ending doesn't really give much to it like when the surprise is like revealed of like who it really is it, it's just not it doesn't feel good you know because you already knew the answer pretty much it tries to be a mystery that it's not and it just doesn't work and that's the thing that doesn't work i'll note that i paid 462 for this movie and i find that weird because that's Actually, I was going to give it a 4.6, but to do that little joke tie in there, but I think I'm probably going to give it a 3, because it's actually not horrible. There are some enjoyable aspects in it, the animation and the um, the voice acting, but otherwise from that, it's just, it's nothing but just dry and stale. Alright guys, if you've enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like and smash that subscribe button. Guys, I will see you guys next time with a brand new video. Goodbye guys.